channel guys we're fired up we're back at the og garage up here right now we're excited because we have five items you must have five tools you must have why did i say items i don't know because i don't know we, we have five tools you must have especially when you do what we do with old cars with old cars i mean you need these items these items will make a difference in your life and i'm thinking about also five items that you must have on a budget yep because this one we're going to do budget friendly because we have done some that's not very bu budget friendly like the big five drawer toolbox and yeah but this one right here will be budget friendly so I, I think about guys if you watch some of our car building videos the ones that have been here for a while we do a lot of patch panels on cars so we have to have metal working tools so this one's geared towards that direction yeah it's geared toward that we're going to do five tools that you must have for metal fabrication for metal for working on things and they don't even have to be for cars like you can use these things on to work on anything to be honest with any you. metal any metal that there's a wasper in here and it's like 30 degrees makes no sense i cannot believe it. we've been up here in a little bit so Ooh, we got a lot of work to do up here. Uh, but guys, uh, let's just get this thing started. But I want to say thank you to some people that's are, been ordering some keychains. Yes. Thank you so much. I say these young people that's going to get the, the rewards from this will thank you too because y'all are doing this. It's not just us doing it. Y'all are doing it too. We're a family here. We're family, guys. We're building this thing as a, a close family to, to give back to the community give back to some young people that we think can have a great life and can do anything they so want to do. So if you want a keychain. If you want a keychain, go to pricecustoms.com and get you one of these. Look at this. Hunter's is a lot nicer than mine. Yeah, look at that. Because look, at, guys, here's one. Look. <laughs> you drive your truck to work, I do not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wear mine. Dude, if you knew what these keys have been through, you'd be impressed by well, just by these janitor keys, you see me do this, and it's still hanging on. Hey, that thing's pretty good. From day one. So, guys, go to PriceCustoms.com and get you one. Oh, yeah. You won't regret it. They're really good, and it'll help somebody So, let's out. get into this video. So, I'm fired up, guys. How about you? Let us know down in the comments below. If you're fired up. If you're fired up. Come on. All right, guys. Before we get to this one right here, I want you. I want to say go to our second channel over there, Price Custom Armory. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're to 300. We need 500. Come on, guys. Guys, we can do it okay we're going to do it but guys this is probably the very first tool we bought from harbor freight when we got in this garage yep, right here it was and guys this is one i believe a tool that you must have if you're going to work on stuff like this see this is what's done uh, the spot welds on this right i still got a lot of my welding yeah <laughs> but it, it does take a while to do this kind of welding because you got to it, it takes a while. It bit. takes a while. But this but, is the Chicago Electric Welding Flux 125. Guys, I bought this thing for $89 at the time. It was on sale. That shows how long it's been because it's been $99 on sale, but it hasn't been $89 for no, years. No, not since. But, yeah. but guys, you could pick this thing up for $99. And if you're going to do sheet metal, and you could do like a wrought iron fences and stuff like that. And But is this the best quality welder? No. No, but this is a great one to get started with. No, but guys, if you're on a budget, that's what I'm saying. We're gearing this one towards a budget. $100. $100. I think 109 or 120 I think it's 120 would be without. Without no deals. Yeah. It's 120 bucks, And you got to start out with a welder right here. And I have to say, you know, I was, I was kind of iffy about it when we first bought it so this one right here put some work on the very first build we done in this garage the mustang right the mustang i welded a little patch panel in it and it done great it and, did. I, and, and we've welded a lot of things with this thing now uh, it's really impressive for what you get for it here's I mean, the end yeah i mean you could tell i've Oh, it's just mostly dust. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell I've done a lot of welding with this this one right here. And it has the just the speed adjustment on it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you just And then the max and min right here. Don't have like a now, guys, degree. We do knob. have a Lincoln welder that we bought because we were gonna have We've to weld, upgraded. welded some heavier stuff. And this might not do a big thick steel. But this is great for sheet metal. Sheet metal all the way up to like eighth inch yeah it does good it took quarter we done that bracket on the mustang with the quarter inch steel. that is true the alternator uh, bracket. but we just need to do some half inch steel and stuff so we went up to lincoln but guys on the sheet metal 
I think this one does a better. Um, it's easier to control. Yeah, you don't burn through easier because but, but you gotta have it all the way up to here because this is right here is set for my sheet metal right now. I eight. Now on the Lincoln, if you had it on eight, it'll blow a hole. You gotta have it like on it. two. You gotta have it, yeah, on, no joke. And this is what a one ten. Yeah, this is a 110. Where's rubber. the end of it? Oh, here. It's just a 110. So then it's cool. got this little, your ground clamp. You can tell I've welded right beside it. But, you yeah. know. What's good is it's a 110, so you can use it anywhere. In, yeah, anywhere you need it. Guys, this is a good buy, I believe. Good bang for your buck. If you're wanting to get into welding and learn, and you don't want to spend three to four to thousands and like that Lincoln was pretty high. It was pretty high. If you want don't if you don't want to spend that big money, then guys, you can always start out with this and start learning how to weld. And they have the other brand you can upgrade to that that's green. I heard it's, it's pretty good. Titan. Is that it's called no, uh, I can't think of the name. Guys, Circle someone comment down below. You know what it is, the green one, the one that everyone has. Uh, apparently it's really good. Yeah, now I'd like to get it and put it against their Lincoln. We put this one against the Lincoln. And it done pretty good. It done good on sheet metal. Yeah. I don't know about anything else. We didn't try no big metal with it. But guys, I would say, bang for your buck, this is an excellent welder to start out with. We did we never welded a day in our life. And got that. I mean, and got it, and now, I mean... And we did if it. If you could see, if this was not in the way, you would see back there. I mean, I can get in there. I mean, that's me. You see that little spot, the one spot <laughs> yeah. I finally got it that's done. That's the perfect spot. Is the perfect... You know, it took me, that's 30 minutes of welding, just that little spot. Because we are not pros. <laughs> no, well, you gotta, you gotta jump. I know. It will warp, and it's a lot of work to do patch panels, but I enjoy it. But on that note... If you're going to weld, there's one thing that you must, another thing you must have, okay? But I'll talk about it. Hunter's going to talk about it. So I'm going to let him over here. I'm going to jump over there because i got to have a drink of tea. Well, the next item, it goes along with the saying, you know, grinder of paint will make you the welder you ain't. And right here, <laughs> we have the grinder right here. This is the Warrior 4.5 inch angle angle grinder, yep. Now, this was the not the cheapest one, but the next one. Next level. And... You can go but we any, have how many of these? We like, have like four or five of these. We have the cheaper one to that one. Yeah, to... and then uh, you can go with any grinder from Harbor Freight, but we're on a going on a budget one, so we thought. I think that one's fourteen dollars. Why not go with the cheaper one? It is electric, but hey, if you're in the shop and you have power, you don't need a battery power one. I would rather use a plug-in one, so you don't have to worry about running out of juice. Yeah. But this thing's pretty good. Right now we have a Bauer uh, cutting disc on it. What is that for, tile? That that one's for masonry. That's where we was doing that stonework. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, we use this at work and then car stuff. It's a good one. And I think I just grabbed that one because I I didn't grab the other one with the flap disc, the one we use for the yeah, cars. Yeah, but I like how I wish it came with, like, a trigger pull. Yeah, but how is this This one's on one? the side, so it's not, like, it don't get in the way. Yeah, now, the other one we have is the one you got to push up. And on the yeah you gotta push up like right here yeah and i don't like that this one you push up right here and then use it see but if i had the other one it's even cheaper i think it's like nine dollars yeah it's pretty something. cheap but a grinder is something very important especially if like with me i'm not the best welder so you grind it down throw a little paint on it you'll never know <laughs> <laughs> hey here's what it is you you weld it you grind it you fill it you paint, paint it, it. <laughs> and then it looks perfect oh hold on you sand it, then you paint well, it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We, we forgot the sanding part. That's one of the most important parts. But this is a really good tool because you can pretty much do anything. I mean, you can do anything with these. Yeah, because we use it We use it a lot to cut the patch panels. We use it a yeah. lot to, to grind the welds down. We, we use this for patch panels until we got a different tool to cut patch panels. Yeah, so we're going to let Hunter get on, on that one, too. Yeah, I'll go. Go to the first one we got to cut patch panels first, okay? Yes. This right here. Now, the guys, I fell in love with this right here. This is the Bauer Electric uh, shears. shears. And these things are great for sheet metal. Like, we've used it for fireplaces, cars, all kinds of stuff. That thing will cut up to 16-gauge metal. Yeah, it's pretty strong. And it cuts a pretty straight line. I mean, it it's a straight line. Yeah. It cuts a straight line. Yeah, That's what it is. It. That's the problem. But if you're cutting a straight line, it's good. Only thing is, when you're using the heavier metal... It's a little bit more difficult to push, but I guess that just comes with it. Yeah. And then you have these little scraps left over that are like a... That wind up. That wind up. Yeah, it's that, that cool. will cut you. Yeah, it will cut you. But this thing works really good, and I think it has... Yeah, it has where you can lock the trigger back if you come over here and look at this. See, man? 
you press down the trigger, press this over, and it holds the trigger back for you. So you don't have to like constantly squeeze so hard. And then when you're done, you just barely touch it and it comes, lets go of it. I'd so say that's that's a, a, that is a must have. If you do anything with metal, the shear, shears right there are, are a must have. They and I love the trigger feature because that's really a necessity because pulling a trigger for a long time when you're trying to cut a straight line for really long, it can get a little annoying. This, you could just press that down and then barely have your hand there, just pushing along. And then when you're done, just barely press it, lets off, and you're ready to go. And that's what's sweet. Yeah, I, I do like them. We use them a lot. As um, you can tell, it's very filthy. We've used it a whole lot. But, I mean, we've not had one issue out of this. When we've used it no, a whole lot. No, uh, let's show them. Here's, this, here's some of the steel that we cut with it. Yep. This right here, as a matter of fact, this right here is one that we cut with it. Look how thick that is. That's 16 gauge steel. And we cut it with those uh, with the Bauer uh, shears, electric shears. Because we had the one you hook, not a uh, Harbor Freight one, but one you hook on a drill, and I did not like. I it. didn't like it. I think it was Malco or something like that. Yeah, well, I I bought that one that used to do metal roofs. Yeah, a lot. I didn't like it. I love this. This is great. Yeah. Now, when I do another metal roof, I will use that on it. Yeah, save us a lot definitely. of time. So the one it would get bind up and stuff. This one does not at all. It just eats right through it. I mean, it chews it up and spits it out, boys. It does. So now <laughs> it's your turn for the next item. All right. All right, guys. Now this tool, we hadn't used it yet. And and we didn't have the opportunity to use it yet. But we have watched videos on it. Yes, we have. And, uh, and I've seen a lot of people watch them. Like Sleeper Dude, I've seen him use it. Uh, and some other people that do uh, metal work. And it, and it like blew my mind, and I was like, I've got to get one of them. And Harbor Freight had it on sale, so I went and bought it. I don't even know what you call this it's thing, though. It's the flange and air punch and flange tool. Yeah, so it will bend a flange. Yep, let me get on the side up. Now, this is by air. Yep. And then it will punch the metal for spot welds um, or whatever you... The tag just fell off. <laughs> but, guys, that's how it is. We have not never used this yet because I ain't even put the, <coughs> the end on it yet. We want to use it. Guys, if, if anyone's used one of these, comment down below and let us know what you think of it. I'd love to know how good it is. I mean, was it something I needed? No. But is it something I want to try? Yes, I really do want to try it. And I believe if you're going to do this kind of stuff, you can make the flange and make it a lot easier on yourself than punch the hose to do the spot welds and do it that way. I think this would be the fastest way of doing it besides... Uh, having to use drill bits and doing all yeah. that kind of stuff. I Instead thought, of doing it how we did it on the Camaro, just self-tappers and yeah, let it self -tappers be. Yeah, self-tappers and let it be. Now, we got to get back on this thing. I cranked it up yesterday trying to start it again, but it still didn't start. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think about this right here. If anyone's used it or not, comment down below, and then we'll get to this next item. Sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call, had to answer because it's my better half. And if I don't answer that, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but like I said, guys, comment down below what you think about this. Have you used one? It, will it be good? What will come out of that? It is a piece of dust. Oh, I don't know. There's what it is. What brand is this? Uh, I don't even know what brand it is. Oh, Central. There it is. If you can read that. What is it? Central Pneumatic. Is that the same as this? No, that's no. Chicago Electric. Okay. <laughs> but guys, then we then we got to where, you know, the patch panels, you, it don't need to always be a straight cut. I mean, you, to do body lines and stuff, you, sometimes you got to put a little bit of an, uh, an, an angle on it. And then I thought, well, what could we use that would be very precise? And you thought of something that we used on that metal bracket that was not a good idea for the... Uh, actual alternator bracket for the mustang do you remember we use a jigsaw yeah we used a jigsaw <laughs> <laughs> oh lord that was fun guys if you want to go back to our earlier videos which are funny to watch uh, we we done some crazy stuff with the least amount of tools that you could ever imagine. i mean we lifted a cab off of a truck <laughs> oh uh yeah now we have a gantry crane but before that before that we done it Hillbilly, just explain, hillbilly style. explain it a little bit okay a we put a big six by six or four by six yeah uh 16 foot long beam beam on top of a roof the roof down here in my father-in-law's house <laughs> on the other end 
a ladder. A, tw- a 12 foot ladder. 12 foot ladder. And then. Uh, a ratchet strap to a. Ratchet strap to a pole that was in the middle of the yard. For, uh, what is that? Direct TV for, or something? Yeah, Direct TV <laughs> satellite. We used one of those, but not that one because that's a new one. We used one of those. To, chain falls. Chain falls to get. Dude, it was sketchy. If you hadn't seen it, it's it's worth going back and back watching. There. You'll think, man, where are these guys from? <laughs> East Tennessee. East Tennessee. <laughs> East Tennessee. That's all we got to say about that. But instead of a jigsaw, guys, I thought, and I, I, I watch a lot of these uh, fabricate fabricators on YouTube that I enjoy. I just enjoy sitting and watching that kind of stuff. And I seen this guy use one of these, and I thought, my goodness, Hunter, we need one of these. So. Of course, Harbor Freight has everything that you can think of for a cheap price. I didn't want to buy a high-end one. And we're not sponsored. And we're not sponsored by Harbor Freight, but I wish we were. So, Harbor Freight, we love you. Sponsor us, please. But (laughs) we buy a lot of tools from Harbor Freight. And, guys, this is one of them. Oh, sorry. Guys, my back's hurting. Bam! Oh, yeah. Guys, this one, is it was it, it was cheap, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think I paid like $9. I don't even know if they carry this exact one anymore. Okay, it's another one of those. Um, Central Pneumatic. Yeah, Central Pneumatic. This thing, though, dude. I, I think drew, they changed the model, though. Yeah, they, they probably did. Now, uh, Harbor Freight has a next. The uh, higher end one. It's called Chief or something yes. like that. Now, I'm thinking about trying out some of their stuff because I bought an, a side. Uh, right angle, right angle grind, grinder, grinder, so I can die grinder, so I can grind down some stuff, and it it's falling apart. On it's me. this brand, and it's falling apart on me. And so I'm gonna try the chief out. Somebody comment down below if you ever tried them out. And let us know. But guys, this thing you could tell we've done some cut. It's an air saw. It's yeah, it's air saw. You you draw your line, you start it. You follow that line, it cuts it as pretty as can be. Make sure you have air protection. Yeah, it's very loud, though. But it, it cuts, I'm talking about... Like butter. <laughs> this one right here we done with a grinder. You can tell... There's some gaps you in You see it. right there where I sort of went... Eh, eh, yeah. You know, I got to, you know, you gotta feel jump that. it. You got to feel that. <laughs> you know, if there's a gap, you can feel it, you know. But the other side, we cut it with that. The other that. side, we cut with that. It's perfect. I'm talking Fits about good. perfect. I'm like, my goodness, why didn't we buy that from the beginning? Why didn't we do the passenger side first so the driver's side would look better? I, you know, once once we throw 10 pounds of Bondo on that thing. <laughs> it's going to look good. You're not going to know that ever happened. <laughs> but guys, if you hadn't seen how bad that was when we got this Nova, go back and check. Guys, we have some videos you need to check out. Like, this thing was filled with that foam that yeah. you put. It caught uh, on fire a little stuff. bit. Yeah. yeah. We caught it on fire. But guys, this is five tools I believe that you should have. Must have. Must have to do this kind of work. And now I'm going to pick my favorite of all these, okay? Yep. My favorite tool of all these has to be oh, right here because it does the prettiest cuts. That I've is seen. a good one. It is. It's a good one. Now we're going to ask Hunter what his favorite one is. And then we're going to tell you about what we have in all this right here. This right here can do anything on a car, and we'll come back to you and let you know what all this would cost. Now, I want to pick my favorite tool out of these five tools here, which is perfect for welding or any sheet metal from Harbor Freight. But my favorite would have to be the air saw, too. Dude, <laughs> I'm telling you. This thing is just so good. It's the high-speed metal saw. It's at um, 90 PSI max, and it goes 9,000 SPM. Man, I'm telling you, it cuts the prettiest lines, doesn't it? It cuts really good, and you can change the blades by taking the Allen out right here, loosen it. Blade comes right out, and you can change it. It's perfect. Guys, I know there's better brands, but guys, we're going to tell you how much is in this right here, and you're going to be surprised of what it would take for you to get started to do something like this right here. We're about to we let you know. We gotta do the math real quick. Yeah. We look it up, but I don't remember all this stuff, so we're going to do the math to make sure we're telling you the truthful stuff. Yeah, now we'll we'll do it the prices today. Yeah, not what we paid because we got these on the we got we, these on sale. This was a long time ago, and the rest was on the inside track. Yeah, so, so we're not we, doing the inside track. We do what is listed right now. What you could go to the store right now and get it for. That's what we're gonna price that. All right, guys, we'll get right back to you right here in a second. And we'll let you know what it is. Well, doing the math now, some of this is gonna be a little bit different than what we paid because they don't make this exact one anymore. They have them. Um, it's um. Is it a McGraw or something like that? 
brand and it is $24.99. I think we paid $14.99 for this one. But, and then they don't make this exact one anymore. It is, uh, I think, cheap. Cheap, like yeah. That. So there is a little bit of difference, but. Same, yeah, because that was twenty four ninety nine. That one was the yeah, end. Yeah, and then this one was that one was a little bit more. like fifty nine. So after everything, all this with the prices of the new ones because you can't buy these anymore, is two hundred and sixty five dollars. So under three hundred dollars for all this stuff is pretty good price because if you went with, I mean, our welder is more than just three hundred dollars. Yeah. For just the welder, not not this welder, but our Lincoln one. So if you go with all this, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck to get started. If you want to learn this stuff. Yeah, you could you could spend under three hundred dollars. Most welders you can't buy for three hundred dollars. No, and then you can always upgrade the welder, but this one does a great job for what we used it for. Yeah, it really does. It done it it's done some work, man. It has, it really has. It's put in a lot of work. Which uh, does this one have reaping hookup gas? I don't think it does. No, I think it's no, one ten. It's, it's electric only, the flux. Now, yeah, our other one has where you can hook up gas, but we just haven't done that yet. Yeah, so it, the other one, it was probably about a, almost $1,000. Yeah, and it has the two, it's a 220 plug. Like it's, but it can do 110 it can do also. It can do 110 as well, but we have it on our 220. But the thing is, for all this, under $300 isn't bad. Now, of course, we had a lot less than that in it because. Yeah, we had, I think, close to $200. Yeah, we had a lot of this on sale and. Of course, like we said, these were cheaper than the brand that is out now. But the brand that is out now also looks it's a better. lot better than this. Yeah. So yeah. if it's better than that, then I I would absolutely love it because I love that one. Yeah, we're, but guys, I won't buy another one until I wear that one completely There's out. There's no point. Yeah. I mean, why would you? Why do you need another one if, <laughs> if it's working? <laughs> yeah, guys. So you know what, guys? It don't cost a bit more to dream big than it does little. And I'll dream big. Cause I serve a big God. Guys, we want to say thank you for watching and every one of you that support us by buying merch and reaching out to us and reaching out to us, to us and and commenting to us. We love it. Comment down below about what you think. Is that worth? Uh, two sixty something to you. And if you have any more ideas of welding stuff that you think is needed, now there is. We already have other things in mind. Oh, we, we could have to, probably done top two twenty. We could, yeah, we could. But we just wanted to bring five in a diverse amount of range of stuff. Yeah, because we, we didn't do. want the video being an hour long. And we didn't want the video to be just stuff with the welder. We wanted stuff that you can use to complement the welder too. Yeah. So guys, make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you comment down below, give that thumbs up, hit that bell. Thanks for watching. Peace. See you next time.